Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of video. I am going to be taking you a step by step on my video editing process. I use iMovie, which is a free software for editing videos that is available on all Apple products. And I'm also going to show you the cool other things that I use to edit my videos, like adding overlays from Canva, finding my music on Hello Thematic, and things like that. So if you are interested in learning how I edit my videos, please stay tuned. Remember, before we dive into the video, hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and follow me on social media, especially Instagram, to stay up to date with what I am doing every day. So without any more rambling, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so first things first, let's open the iMovie app. We are going to create a project. Once we have a project, you can import your media and when you have that media, you put it into your editing area. Once we have that, I always like to expand the little tab on the right side to make the video longer. And then once I have that, I can start editing my video. First thing that I do is I always start by clipping my videos. I want to eliminate all those awkward pauses, all the ums, anything that any of the bloopers or anything like that. So that is the first step of my editing process. I am going to do this all throughout the video. You can use the little blue bar in the bottom to kind of show you where those areas are because you will see that the white area goes all the way to the bottom and that means that there is no sound over there. Once we have started doing that process, we are going to continue throughout the whole video, throughout the different clips and anything like that. And even though you can't see it here, there are some tabs over at the top where you can make your videos be color corrected and kind of edit it in a way that makes it even. So make sure to do that before you start clipping your videos or by hitting command A to select all of the clips available. And that way you will make sure that all of the clips have the exact same editing. So as you can see here, I am just going to continue clipping the videos um, to make sure that everything flows very smoothly. You can also, um, as you can see here, I have increased the speed of the video so that you can see how I can make it quicker. There is a little tab on the top right hand side that has a little clock or speedometer kind of icon and you go to that region and you see that a drop down menu pops up that says speed and in that drop down menu you can select normal speed, slow speed, fast speed, things like that. Once you select the fast speed, you can select if you want it two times, four times, eight times, or 20 times as fast. And that is just going to depend on how fast you want your time lapse to go on. Sometimes I use very short time lapses, especially in makeup videos, to kind of transition the scene from one second to another. It's usually like half a second or one second of sped up video. And that way you can kind of transition without leaving too much space and keeping your audience's attention. In addition to that, you also want to make sure that you are not creating too many awkward changes or weird transitions between your clips because that won't flow as smoothly as when you make cuts that are kind of similar to each other. If you are doing one of those big transitions, then I would definitely insert a transition animation so that it flows a lot smoother. And I will show you this a little bit more ahead in the video so that you can see it in action, how I choose to add more elements 
In addition to that, now we will start moving on to adding overlays and green screens. And these allow you to add other content into your video, other layers, how they also call it. Once you have created a green screen animation, you can just put that on top of your original video like you see here, and that will put the images together. Then you go into the first square that appears there. It looks like two squares together. And in that section, you will choose green or blue screen and that will take out the green part. Once I do that, I try to layer that on top of the section that I am talking about that specific image. So in this case, I am talking about how you guys should follow me on Instagram and social media. So then a run through video of my Instagram page appears as well as images and icons showing you my handles and inviting you to subscribe to my channel. I want this overlay uh, that you see here, the one without the phone, I just created it on Canva and I created it with a transparent background so that I can just put it on top of the video and it will automatically layer on top without, without having to clear the green screen part. This part I will extend it as far as I want it to appear in the video and then that is pretty much it for adding those kinds of overlays. Now I'm going to add my intro and I want that to appear in a specific section after certain words or certain actions. And I will drag my intro video clip into that section. And I always like to put a transition before and after that intro. So that's what you see me here, dragging those transitions into the spots that I want them. Then I will once again go through the video, go all the way towards the end. And now we will insert our end screen or outro. And this usually appears about 20 seconds before the video ends. So I can decide if I want it to appear only with my end screen template or before the video actually ends. And once again, I can insert overlays, inviting you to subscribe to my channel when I'm talking about it, insert a little like image with a transparent background to show you what the like button looks like and things like that. So you can edit that to your liking. Then after that, I usually start going into the audio and I have already downloaded several songs from Hello Thematic, which is the app the site that I use to get all of my music and it's copyright free as long as you give them credit in your video. And I kind of, sometimes I try different kinds of musics to see which ones I like better or which ones I think will go best with the video. And once I do that, I turn down the volume of that music to maybe three, between one and 5% because I want it to be a background music and I don't want it to interfere with the main video. And then, once I have inserted that audio, I will start to listen through the whole video all over again just to make sure that the volume is not too loud and that I like how the music is in the background if it goes with the video like I already mentioned. Once I, you do that, you can also insert different sound effects like the bottle cork that a lot of people use when things pop up on the screen. You can also add bells, mouse clicks, a lot of those you also have to download. I have downloaded a few of them, but you can also go through the ones that are available in iMovie to and in your computer to use those um, as you see fit. So here I am adding the bottle cork effect and I am also adding a mouse click effect that I downloaded to the areas that I want them to appear. Sometimes you have to play with with these sound effects because the length might defer to where you want it to appear. So just make sure it correlates with the images on your video to make sure that it looks coherent and like it goes together fluently. Once I do that, you can go ahead and copy the song or hit command C and then you can just paste it one next to the other so that the editing that you did on the volume of the video or any other edits that you added to it are going to be the exact same throughout the video. And it's very easy to do. You, If you use different songs, then you will have to adjust it for each song. But I always like to try and keep it as coherent or evenly as possible to use the same song, unless it's like a vlog kind of video. 
Then finally, here at the end, I always cut the last clip and increase the volume a little bit so that it transitions very nicely into the end screen and the volume is obviously louder because I want the if I want the person looking at my video to be able to hear it if they so wish to see the video towards the end with the end screen and listen to the whole song. And that's pretty much it guys, that is how I edit my videos. Now I am going to insert some extra clips of me editing in Canva and looking through Hello Thematics so that here we start going into the Hello Thematic website. You can create an account and then you log in and this is what your homepage will look like. You can go to browse music. Here they have recommended music based on what you have downloaded before. You can choose to play whatever song. If you like it, then you can go ahead and download it. It downloads automatically into your computer. Once it downloads, you can just open the file and it will open automatically in your iTunes. And then that way you can easily access it from your iMovie. Now going over to Canva, I am going to show you how to create a transparent image. So we open any kind of document that you want. It doesn't matter the size necessarily. I always try to do it in a YouTube thumbnail or in a logo kind of image. And you type whatever you want. In this case, I am going to do a tree and then you put it to the size that you want, then you create a, J a PNG document, transparent background, and then you download it, and the image will download with a transparent background. Now, if you wanna do animated overlays or transition screens, then you can go ahead and create a YouTube thumbnail size document where you will insert animated graphics from canva in this case i am going to be searching for animated stars and then you can choose whichever one you want in to your document you can also add modify the size the colors sometimes you can also choose to add words change the fonts the size the colors all of those kinds of things and then once you are satisfied with your transition, you can go ahead and download that as an MP4 or video format document, drag it into your iMovie and into your timeline. Then once you import your video into YouTube, you can go ahead and add cards to recommend other videos to your viewers. You can choose where you want to put them. You do all of this in your creator studio. You can also add your end screen and you can start working on your tags to make sure that you are ranking in search. I use the TubeBuddy extension or plugin to help me find the recommended tags for my videos and optimize my search, my SEO. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I do to edit my videos and get them ready to be published and seen by you guys. Let me know in the comments below if there is anything else that you would want to see in my channel. And that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up if you wanna see more cool editing videos like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What apps do you use or, or websites do you use to find overlays and music for your videos? I want to learn more options out there than the ones that I already have. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit down below. Follow me on social media. You guys know the drill already. So thank you so, so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.